My husband called me while he was driving. He said, I think something is wrong. I think I'm having a heart attack. I told him to pull over and call 911. When I got to where he was, he had yet to do that, so I called the ambulance. Before he lost consciousness, I asked for his phone and code. He gave it to me. And then he looked me in the eye and said, I'm so sorry. At the time, I didn't process why he said that. But once things calmed down, I realized exactly what he meant. Nine days later, we removed him from life support. We were together for 10 years. It was the second marriage for both of us, and he was treating me well. We were happy. After his death, I found a box of old phones. He kept every single one of his old phones, and there was a lot of them. At first, I enjoyed reading all the old text messages, but then I saw his call log. Every morning on his way to work, he would receive a call from a woman named Heather. I then opened his email and searched for her name. Message after message, with pictures between him and her. He had been cheating on me for two and a half years. She was 30. He was 55. He would take her on shopping trips and out to lunch frequently. And many times he would leave work early so they could have sex. At one point, she even thought she might be pregnant. In one of the emails, Heather included a picture of her at work. I was able to identify where she worked and gave her a call. She sat there in shock and kept silent. I knew my husband was in therapy, but I was told it was for PTSD. Come to find out, it was for sex addiction. I contacted the therapist and explained what had happened to my husband. The therapist then revealed that my husband had been having sex with women and men since he was 20 years old. All of this has dramatically affected my mental health. To add to it, I found out my husband recorded every conversation on the phone and in person with Heather. Years of heartbreaking conversations and I listened to every single one of them. After this, I decided to reach out to his first wife of 26 years. She was a monster of a woman. At least, that's what I was told. And she is someone that I had never met before. She came over. I told her everything. And she held my hand and cried with me. And yes, I know what you're wondering. Yes, he cheated on her as well. I married a fake person. A person who showed me what I liked and lived a different life. This journey has been devastating. But eye-opening to what a true narcissist is. That is one of the most heartbreaking stories I've ever read. And to men that I feel that may be doing wrong, 
Don't let that be your legacy. You still have time to make things right. Don't let I'm sorry be your last breath. If you have a problem, get help and talk about it openly. Because judgment today is better than your legacy tomorrow.